was a Scottish creator, technologist, and chemist World Health Organization improved on Thomas Newcomen's 1712 Newcomen external combustion engine together with his Watt external combustion engine in 1776, that was basic to the changes brought by the economic revolution in each his native nice Great Britain and also the remainder of the planet. While operating as an instrument maker at the University of Glasgow, Watt got interested within the technology of steam engines. He realized that modern engine styles wasted a good deal of energy by repeatedly cooling and reheating the cylinder. Watt introduced a style improvement, the separate condenser, that avoided this waste of energy and radically improved the facility, efficiency, and cost-effectiveness of steam engines. Eventually he tailored his engine to provide motion, greatly broadening its use on the far side pumping water. Watt tried to commercialize his invention, however intimate nice monetary difficulties till he entered a partnership with Matthew Bolton in 1775. The new firm of Bolton and Watt was eventually extremely flourishing and Watt became a wealthy person. In his retirement, Watt continuing to develop new inventions although none was as important as his external combustion engine work. He developed the idea of HP, and also the SI unit of power, the Watt, was named once him. James Watt was born on 19 January 1736 in Greenock, Renfrewshire, the eldest of the five extant kids of Agnes Muirhead, 1703-1755, and Discoverer, 1698-1782. His mother came from a distinguished family, was well-educated and aforesaid to be of forceful character, whereas his father was a shipbuilder, shipowner and contractor, and served because the Greenock's chief bailey in 1751. Watt's folks were Presbyterians and robust covenanters, however despite a non-secular upbringing he later became a non-religious person. Watt's granddad, Thomas Watt, 1642-1734, was an instructor of arithmetic, measurement and navigation, and bailey to the Baron of Cartsburn. Initially Watt was educated reception by his mother, later happening to attend Greenock Synchronic Linguistics College. There he exhibited an inherent ability for arithmetic, whereas Latin and Greek didn't interest him. He is aforesaid to possess suffered prolonged bouts of ill health as a baby and from frequent headaches all his life. After going college Watt worked within the workshops of his father's businesses, demonstrating extensive manual dexterity and talent in making engineering models. Once his father suffered some unsuccessful business ventures Watt left Greenock to hunt employment in Glasgow as a mathematical instrument maker. When he was 18 his mother died and his father's health began to fail. Watt travelled to London and was able to get a amount of coaching as an instrument maker for a year, 1755 56 then came to Scotland, sinking within the major business town of Glasgow out to fitting his own instrument making business. He was still terribly young and having not had a full post didn't have the same old connections via a former master to determine himself as a craftsman instrument maker. Watt was saved from this impasse by the arrival from Jamaica of astronomical instruments bequeathed by Alexander Macfarlane to the University of Glasgow, instruments that needed professional attention. Watt repaired him to operating order and was paid. These instruments were eventually put in within the Macfarlane Observatory. Afterward, three professors offered him the chance to line up a little workshop at intervals the university. It had been initiated in 1757 and two of the professors, the man of science and chemist Joseph Black further because the far-famed Adam Smith became Watt's friends. At first he worked on maintaining and repairing scientific instruments employed in the university, serving to with demonstrations and increasing the assembly of quadrants. He created and repaired brass reflective quadrants, parallel rulers, scales, components for telescopes and barometers, among different things. T is usually incorrectly expressed that he struggled to determine himself in Glasgow thanks to opposition from the trades house, however this story has been totally debunked by the historiographer, Lumsden. The records from this era area unit lost however it's better known that he was able to work and trade fully unremarkably as a talented metal employee that the incorporation of Hammerman should have glad that he met their needs for membership. It's conjointly better known that people within the metal trades were pursued for operating while not being members of the incorporation well into the 19th century, that the rules were undoubtedly being implemented once what was commercialism freely throughout town. In 1759 he shaped a partnership with John Craig, and creator and bourgeois, to manufacture and sell a line of merchandise as well as musical instruments and toys. This partnership lasted for consequent six years, and utilized up to 16 employees. Craig died in 1765. 
One worker, Alex Gardner, eventually took over the business, that lasted into the 20th century. In 1764, Watt married his full cousin Margaret, Peggy, Miller, with whom he had five kids, two of whom lived to adulthood, James Jr. 1769-1848, and Margaret, 1767-1796. His partner died in giving birth in 1772. In 1777 he was married once more, to Anne McGregor, female offspring of a Glasgow dye maker, with whom he had two children, Gregory, 1777-1804, World Health Organization became a man of science and man of science, and Janet, 1779-1794. Anne died in 1832, between 1777 and 1790 he lived in Regent Place, Birmingham.